The total value for a Lockheed may be as high as $928 million over the course of the app's unspecified timeline. This program is known officially as the Hypersonic Traditional Attack Weapon. The indefinite delivery slash indefinite quantity contract for the design, development, technology, systems integration, test, logistics preparation, and aircraft integration support of all the components of a hypersonic, traditional, air-launched, standoff weapon was declared by the ceremony April 18. This effort is one of two hypersonic weapon prototyping efforts being pursued by the Air Force to accelerate hypersonics research and development, service spokeswoman Ann Stefanek said in a statement. The Air Force is using prototyping to explore the art of the possible and to advance these technologies to a capability as quickly as possible. The other prototyping program referenced by Stefanek is the air-launched rapid response weapon. In its FY19 budget request, the Air Force asked for $258 million for the two prototyping experiments. The service is also working on two science and technology hypersonic programs, in conjunction with DARPA. Those are the Tactical Boost Glide program, which expects to have a prototype in the 2022 to 2023 time frame, and the hypersonic air breathing weapon concept, or HAWK. Hypersonic flight is defined as anything about Mach 5, meaning five times the speed of sound. Such a weapon, if successfully developed, would be able to skirt past existing air defenses and hold enemy forces at risk from great ranges. Lockheed Martin CEO Marilyn Hewson has previously started a focus on developing the technology. Stefan Neck noted the dollar amount represents the estimated face value for the project and is not a full commitment from the service. Money will be given out through a series of tasking orders, the first of which will come in the next few weeks. The most significant advance by our adversaries has been the Chinese development of what is now today a pretty mature system for conventional prompt strike at multi-thousand kilometer ranges, Griffin told the House Armed Services Committee during an April 17 hearing. We will, with today's defensive systems, not see these things coming. It is time for us to renew our emphasis on and funding of these areas in a coordinated way across the department to develop systems which can be based on land for conventional prompt strike, can be based at sea, and later on can be based on aircraft," Griffin later said. <laughs> <laughs>